This is Mary from Joanne's Craft Team here to show you how you can make this mask if you're looking for a way to help your community while you're at home. To make your mask, you will need cotton fabric, lightweight fusible interfacing, quarter inch knit elastic, a pencil, scissors, ruler, and piece of paper to make your pattern, and of course basic sewing supplies like a sewing machine, thread, and pin. Okay, to make my pattern, I'm going to start by marking 9 inches along the bottom of my paper. From that 9 inches, I'm going to go ahead and measure up 6. And then I'm going to go ahead and mark this bottom 9 inch edge as being cut on the fold. If you're making these masks out of scraps of fabric and your fabric is less than 12 by 9 inches, you are going to want to go ahead and add an extra quarter of an inch um, along this length here so that you can cut out of two pieces of fabric. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use a quarter inch seam allowance, so I'm going to mark that as well. And this is going to help me mark where my pleats need to be. So there's my quarter of an inch seam allowance along that side. And now it's time to start marking my pleats. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line the eighth of an inch line up with my quarter inch seam allowance line. And this is going to give me the most evenly spaced pleats in the easiest way possible. So now I'm going to go ahead and mark the center points of my pleats. So this is the point that is folded outward. So I'm going to mark at one and a half inches. Then again at three inches. And again at four and a half inches. These are going to be half inch pleats, so I'm also going to go ahead and mark with a dashed line where the rest of the fabric from my pleat is going to take up. So I'm going to mark at one inch, and again at two inches, two and a half, three and a half, four, and five. Then I'm going to go ahead over to the opposite side of my mask and mark those same points along this edge working from this seam allowance edge down so that my pleats match on both sides. Okay, now that I have my finished pattern, it's time to cut out my fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and place this pattern on the fold of my fabric and go ahead and cut out one. I'll also need to go ahead and cut out the same piece out of my interfacing. So now I have my interfacing applied to the wrong side of my cotton fabric. And I've gone ahead and folded it right sides together in half this way so that I have a 9 inch edge here and 6 inch edge here. Before I start sewing, I'm also going to need to cut two pieces of elastic 7 inches long each.
I'm going to go ahead and pin my project. I'm going to sew along this edge first and I'm going to want to leave a section about two and a half, three inches long that is not sewn. So I'm going to mark those first. And I like to put two pins together just as a reminder that I'm supposed to do something different there. Okay, let's go take this and sew it. Okay, now that I have my edge sewn here, with my open space in the center to turn it right side out, I'm going to go ahead and place my elastic in. So place it in each end and tuck in the corner with just a little bit poking out there and you can go ahead and pin this into place. And then go ahead make sure your elastic isn't twisted and repeat in this top corner. And then again on the other side. Okay, so now that my elastic is pinned into place, I can go ahead and sew across both sides. And I'll want to make sure that I'm back stitching really well across this elastic so it's secure in there. Okay, both ends are securely sewn with my elastic caught inside. So now I can go ahead and turn this right side out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to my ironing board give it a good press and tuck in the seam allowance on the part that I'm going to need to shut close. My mask is pressed. It's time to go ahead and mark my pleats using my pattern. So I'm lining up my seam allowance line and my folded line here. And I'm going to go ahead and mark the center of the pleat. I'm also going to go ahead and mark the bottom of each pleat. So in general, I'm going to fold at that center point and then fold again at that bottom point and that's going to make up my pleat. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that into place. So I'm going to take this bottom pleat and fold it up and then mark it. So from the side here, you're going to want these pleats to kind of nest together so that you're not um, accumulating too much bulk here. And then go ahead and fold that last pleat. Everything nests together. So I have three pleats there in the center, and I'm going to go ahead and repeat on this side. Now that my pleats are all marked, I'm going to go ahead and sew around the entire perimeter of my mask. And that's going to go ahead and catch those pleats and sew them flat, and also close up my opening down here. So now that I've sewn around all sides and removed my pins, I have my finished face mask.